Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode with our child of Adam Ghoul. So, here is the Super Duper Mart looking beautiful, fine, and wonderful. We have our Insomnia character who's trying... Our Insomnia character has and he's sick and he needs more sleep to do anything. But we have plenty of water going. Our character is healthy for the moment. And uh, we're learning about the terrors of the Super Duper Mart and how things just freaking climbing through the walls. Luckily, we got this bat, which has been doing really well for just whacking things and staying more or less quiet while we're doing it. Also, melons, apparently, give you food and water. I don't know if gourds do it too, but we might as well grab one, because hell yeah, it's going to be sick. Oh, found another one. Found another one. Shh, big bra, big hangout, don't worry. Everything is going to be alright. Just get knocked down. And be all quiet. So, this... Unidentified intruder detected. Begin. Ooh, we got a couple feral ghouls strolling around now. But luckily we have the Protectron still moving a boot. So that's gonna help. That one looked like it was missing a head. Yep, still looks like it's missing a head. So I'm having a hard time figuring out how to do... Uh-oh. Hello! Welcome to the Super Duper Mart. We are currently out of stock of any hair products, which you clearly desperately need. So, um, please go away. Alright, here comes the next one. I'm gonna walk in here too and close this door. Try to decrease the amount of possible entrances I'm gonna have to be fighting ghouls from. Oh, that's a roamer right there. All right, so we're gonna hit that guy with a Molotov first. Holy shit. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, this room was filled with a bunch of shit in it. I'm glad I did that over here. You know, what's really scary too is the fact that, well, we haven't saved since the last episode. We've just kind of sort of gotten in here and we just sort of kept going. I mean, how do you save, like, for every episode when you're explore? Ooh, that's a hand. As you're exploring all this stuff, like, it doesn't always give you that opportunity. And, uh, another Josh is holotape. Huh, I'm looking forward to listening to some of that. Let's see what Josh has to say. I came back yesterday with Emma. Everyone's gone. Looks like they left in a hurry and had one hell of a fight. Feral corpses are... Emma and I searched for anything that might tell us where they went. The only thing we found was Anthony. Must have been bad. They never would have left his body there. I sent Emma down to the loading dock to wait for me while I check on something. We won't stay long. I just want to get Anthony's body and wait. The pharaohs are back. Oh, fuck me. Oh, that sucks. Okay, it drops us some stuff. Ooh, the feral snuck out behind us. We did not get... That was good. Good we didn't get caught too badly from that. Ooh, and that one had duct tape. What a nice feral. Good feral. Ooh, this is... I just kind of wish there was a bed around here. All right, there's oil on the floor. There's oil on the floor. All right, we're going to do this again. Back up. Forward again. Yeah, there is oil on the floor. <laughs> so, I'm not used to... Oh, God! <laughs> I'm not used to how... Or, like, using environment like this in a Bethesda game. Now, in, like, Skyrim, you could light things on fire on the floor. But I rarely use that because it just doesn't feel like... Oh, yes, I was imagining there'd be a fusion core in here. We have two fusion cores on us right now. That is wicked. Really happy about it. Um, all right. More wonder glue. Holy shit. Throw that. Throw that. Fire away. Fire Z pistols. Ooh, critical strike. That worked great. Man, these Molotovs I'm going through pretty quickly, but I feel like it's safe to do. I mean, 
We have large amounts of melee focused characters in small areas away from us so it's safe to throw in these weapons to make sure that we're the ones who are not getting hit and then it's just them. Also... Th I have never been in here, and this has been very scary. A Braxo cleaner and sugar bombs? Were they eating it out of the toilet, or are they eating it on the toilet? Very different, important, like, prepositional use going on there. Carrot. I wonder how long that carrot has been there. I mean, I guess people would, like, live in a lot of these places, too. Is that a chem? Oh, my God. Can we make Molotovs yet? We can. All right, I think we should make a couple Molotovs. I feel like we don't have a lot of Molotovs. We got two. I think that they've been one of the greatest things that we've had available to us. Why the hell did they chain up this teddy bear? All right, well, chain him up, I guess. Odd choice, dish rag. Oh, it's a kitten. Let's see what's on the terminal. Sally, due to numerous computers clits over the past couple of months, it is with heavy heart. Oh, we had to let Sally go. Was ordered until we can make room in the kitchen when the special menu has been installed. Sally's desk, enjoy. Express concerns over the loud clicking noise the special menu makes when used. Fortunately, we won't be able to move the machine for another two weeks. Won't fit in our kitchen. We are currently in the process of hiring a contractor to come in. Oh, so is this the espresso machine? <laughs> They put it on top of Sally's desk? Poor Sally. You know, somebody put their chair back up over there. I think that's kind of interesting. And then somebody, ooh. Somebody in response chained up the teddy bear. Oh, all right, Mr. Teddy Bear. Guess that'll work for you. Um, ooh, did we get any more glass in the last second? Because, no, we didn't. Man, those Molotovs have been really useful. There we go, a little, little glitch stuck in there. Okay. Man, this has been sweet. We got a fusion core. I'm guessing this is to outside. No, it's a novice door to unlock. We've been taking out a lot of these terrible ghouls with some sweet Molotov sweet. cocktail throws. Ooh, here we go. I don't see any scary dudes. We're doing just fine shooting dudes with our 10 millimeter pistol. I'm proud of this. We're, uh, I'm feeling very good about how we're doing. We're, we're really not using anything else besides the 10 millimeter. Oh no doesn't see us yet. Uh-oh. There's another one. Close the door. Slowly walk backwards. Another feral. That's okay. Look behind me. Look down. Look over. Dude, ferals in this place are spooky. How are they still showing up all the time? Like... I've gone through a lot of these rooms where ferals keep coming after us from. Like, that's really interesting. Are they, like, crawling in after the fact? Or are they... Like, how are they getting in here? Hmm. Another espresso machine? They're just... The place loves espresso. It's the most tasty thing ever. All right, I'm gonna do some more looting around this place. And then, uh, I'll jump back in whenever there's any more ghouls. Ah, God! Damn it! Hey! Gotta level up. I feel like a scrounger or a bloody mess would be good because that 5% damage boost would, be, boost would be pretty sweet. And then the scrounger would just give us more 10 millimeter ammunition plus a currency. You know what? I like scrounger idea. I like that because it would be cool to have an extra currency. I know I mentioned that we don't really need the extra ammunition, but right now, if we're just focusing on this 10 millimeter pistol, I think having that extra stuff will be super nice as we continue to level up our character. This person's skirt keeps flipping in the wind. Hold on. Yeah, every time you look away and look back. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, I think we're relatively safe after this experience. We got ourselves another fusion core. We now have two of those on our person. So we're moving very nicely along our character. You know, I was thinking about how Scrounger to me before wasn't going to be as useful of- Oh, wait. Dude is a fat man. <laughs> oh, God. 
And we're it's daylight. Oh shoot. Crows, you better not get him angry at us. We need to find a save. Okay. That's what this has turned into. Finding bed. Um shoot. I'm trying to think right now where there is a bed. Oh, crud. You know, looking f around for a bed reminds me of how when you're like going traveling and it's been like a long day of traveling and the like, like I remember, um, I was, uh, tra Ooh, this is an inn. They should have beds here at Mystic Pines. They should totally have one. There's, there's a couch. You know, why can't I lay sideways on the couch, huh? Like sleeping in a chair. Bingo. That's awesome. I didn't know that was here. Cool. Well, sleeping on a chair feels like that would be a little tough to do. I could see that. But sleeping on a couch seems pretty normal. Anyway, the story is that I was traveling with a friend of mine through... It's a bed. <gasps> it's a bed. How much can we sleep on this bed? Can we do eight hours? Oh my gosh. That would be amazing. We're not waking up with a well-rested bonus. I guess because we don't technically own the bed. But I think uh, that's an okay outcome. We still did fine. Uh, but I, you know, a little bit of a bummer. All right, properly hydrated and fed. Our character is good to go. Oh man, that was, that was a scary option there. Uh, we're carrying a lot of stuff. I don't know if I necessarily need anymore. I have a lot of junk on my character. Um, and I haven't really explored this place. Anyway, to carry with the story, we were traveling by ferry from Sweden into, uh, let's see, Riga. Where is the country? Latvia to Latvia and what happened is we messed up the hour change between if it was supposed to be two hours ahead or two hours behind we thought it was gonna be two hours behind and so we th were like okay well we're gonna stay up extra late because you know we'll sleep in and then we'll be able to get off the boat right away and it'll be awesome you know like right when we're woken up we'll have breakfast and we'll have plenty of time uh if you've ever been on a like a ferry that does like an 18 hour ferry ride. It's actually kind of similar to how like a cruise ship works where if you go into like the lower bowels of the ship, it's just super quiet and dark. So anyway, the wake up call, you know, that we were expecting to happen two hours later than it ended up happening, uh, was basically like, ding, pitch black. Hey, wake up everybody. We're about to land. And we're like, oh shit, we're about to land? Like. Jesus Christ, so they do, like, they give you an hour heads up, which is nice, but we were so unprepared for that, and, uh, that was problematic, so, we're unprepared, we don't, is this the bank again? Oh, goodness, we're back at the bank, that was really quick, it's a lot, a lot faster when, uh, it's a lot faster when you're not as scared. Alright, so, I think this is a good time to cross, go, 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 I know there's gonna be a bunch of ghouls. But that's okay. Our character hates ghouls and has to go after ghouls. Crap. Okay. Uh, I know this is going to be a ghoul right here. See if we can lead them over this way a bit. Alright. Let's get that initial sneak attack. Oh, come on. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. Ah! So it turns out you can't actually sleep off getting crippled. Also check this out. Uh, melons, we know, are able to feed and hydrate you. Let's see if gourds do. I don't know. Properly fed. Uh, nothing on water. That's a bit of a bummer. All right, well, here's some water. Nice. Hydrated. Okay, so we learned our lesson that we're, we're using pistols. I mean, we have the baseball bat. It was quiet. I was thinking that three times damage would be pretty cool. Was not as cool. Was not as useful. Was not as cool. So, noted. Anywho, uh, well, there's the guy again that we were all scared about. So let's, uh, pop back in first person, continue this way. You know, I think there's some, yeah, we could go through the apartments, perhaps. Get some other cool stuff that's up there. I mean, I actually would like to do the Corvega plant to at least get the the dude on the top, um, they have a, a bobble head up there. So I would at least want to try that. I think it would be worth our time. Um, it'd be interesting. I 
what I'm doing a lot of this for is because a lot of these dungeons just happen to have fusion cores to them in. And so the thought pro fusion corns, corns, fusion corn, fusion corn is the new corn, the new corn, fusion corn, eat the corn, get superpowers, radioactive, do you want two hands, three hands, four hands, five hands, as many hands as you want, fusion corn, anywho, so there's typically fusion cores that are located in a lot of these dungeons and they give you a lot of cool, just fun that goes with them, but it is better to do that with missions and we're kind of demissioned at the moment we're just sort of exploring doing this on our own which is cool but we don't get the experience for it um still it's like our character is not necessarily an experience run we're uh fireball yes there. nobody's there Shh. dude i think we should get demolition like the amount of molotov cocktails we're making here and using Who's out there? demolition is the way to go I really want from any of these yeah, dudes. Probably right. All right, there's a dude in here. What the? Oh no, there's just bottles. Oh my god. Water. Oh god! <laughs> Holy shit! Fuck! I took god. Okay, cut the shit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Neither of us can hit the other. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was right. There were there were two people in there. I was. That's the fat man over there. Oh come on, come on, come on! Oh no! There we go, properly hydrated and fed. what I tell you about melons? It's amazing how much faster a person can get back here. Just, just running very quickly. <laughs> God, that was hilarious. Just the reaction that I had in the fact that there was two, I thought there was gonna be two people in there. There turned out to be two people in there. And it's just, that was really funny. So some things I've been learning about survival now that are clicking a little bit harder, which is, so we talked about being all cool using like blades and stuff, but it, it definitely for forces your character to play in a much more gentle, carefuler, subtle way. I mean, I'm gonna f Molotov these two again. And then I'm out, and then I'm gone. I, I am like, I am like the predator, you know? Like I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be out, I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be out. And also this is another reason why I'm, I'm here we go, we got, we got these guys coming now. Here we go, we're gonna get some fat shots on him. Actually, how about another Molotov? Pull back. They know I'm here, but they don't know exactly where. Using the Molotovs have been really effective. When you turn up, you're dead. When I turn up, I'm dead. I've died twice here, all right? Not twice, yeah, twice as in total play stuff. All right, we got that guy. He's down too. All right, I don't know where the other raiders are. Let's see if I can get myself back into a caution. Or, let's get up high. I think up high is gonna be a good way to do this. Because, you can see there's not a lot of raiders up here. So if I can move quickly, I can at least identify some of the raiders. That guy is out. To my right, above me, to my right, above me, up above me. I fell off and didn't get hurt. That's really good. Let's take some cover. Oh God, holy shit. Bad plans. All right, we're gonna take a stim pack to heal. I know I'm thirsty, but I need the healing. Get out of here. Get, go, get, get. I, I can't see you. I, I legitimately can't see you. I'm just shooting blankly into where I think you might be. Got you. All right, we know there's one up top. There you are. Oh, I can't even aim at that one really well. Oh, I see him barely moving. Ow, gotcha. Spook, spook city. Are you shooting at me? No, you don't even notice me. 
All right. Uh-oh, I've been seeing again. Where? From? How? Running back down. Stim pack again. Holy smokies. Fire for you. Oh god, don't die. Don't die. All right, looks like we're going to try our first medex. Going to try our first medex. Okay. Oh, do I have medex? I do. Here we go. Poison resist goes up. That's cool. I didn't know that that would happen. Mildly dehydrated from lack of water. Well, we're going to take um we're going to take some purified water to fix that. Feel better but still thirsty. I want all You know what? I want all the way up. Properly hydrated. Hey, what do you mean you're not dead? You're on fire. Okay. Short automatic pipe rifle. Ah, oh, a lot of shots. A lot of shots. Ah, uh, stim pack. Thank you. Ah, oh, uh, pop it, weave. Pop it, weave. Uh, okay. Um, looking, 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 looking. All right, you're dead. Oh, we've got one. Raider over there. There you are. I see you. I see you. Oh, there's another one. I see both of you. You're a melee raider. Less intelligent at the moment. Uh, okay, I see you. I see you. Up, oh, up. Oh, bob and weave. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Go. Oh no, I don't want a baseball bat. We've learned that. We've learned that mistake. We've discovered that I'm all about the fun. Ow! Ow! Where's that coming from? Run and hide. Run and hide. Oh, oh, good, good angle. Good angle. Yeah. All right. This is one of the most intense gun battles I've actually had the opportunity to play in this game. Um, oh shoot, they're all firing at me from over there. You know, it's really interesting having so much healing on me right now. Oh, I can't even see them. This is not a range that I'm good with. It's a range that they're good with, they got rifles. Do you think I can make that jump? I think I can make that jump. I think I can make this jump. I made the jump! Aha! Oh, that was pretty sick. You guys ready to burn? Woo! Oh, sick. Okay, I need a bed. I wish I had a bed. We're still in danger. Ooh, that's a burnt corpse. Oh, God, where are these shots coming from? In front of me, below me, behind me. They're landing in front of me, which makes me question and thinking that maybe they're above me because they can't fire at me from this line. All right, we're actually getting out of danger pretty soon. Disappearing act. Huh? I don't see any. Keep moving. I know timer. All right, that one might be, uh-oh, firing at me again. Quick, hide behind this incredibly useful bit of cover. What is this? That would be nice if I could fall through that. Yes. Ah, gun! <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I hear guns firing. All right, we got one raider there. Got him. I need to put a scope on one of these. I, the amount of, oh! You know, even though we're getting hit from afar, we're really not getting that injured from these. But, see? Not very. I'm clearly getting hit, but my health isn't going down. All right, um, whoop. All right, I've gotten some cover. Oh man, there's, I was looking for, ooh, some duct tape. I was looking for a bed, shotgun shells. Maybe like a bed would be cool. Let's turn this down. Man, that med X. God, is that games big... with me, huh? Shh. Okay. Sounds like they're nearby. All right, once we're out of caution, I'm gonna stop the episode here. I think we're good. I think we're safe. Once we're out of caution, I'm... Of them now. All right, dudes. Jesus Christ, that was pretty extreme. I loved that. Okay, so... All right, uh, long range has become a bigger thing now in this. Anyway, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It's a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy faces. I'll finish the story about Talin, or excuse me, uh, Latvia and stuff at a later time. All right, bye. Ah.